What's going on, YouTube? Come back at you with another video. So, I got a lot of positive feedback. Thank you to everybody out there who was giving me support on my last video. I figured I would do video number two on the same subject and go a little bit deeper to try to give people a full understanding of exactly what is going on before your eyes in regards to this whole quote unquote gay agenda. Now, two disclaimers right out the gate. Number one, everything I'm about to say in this video is my opinion. Number two, I have nothing against anybody on this earth. And although sometimes it's difficult and it's something that I'm struggling with and I'm trying to get better at, Christ teaches and the word of God teaches love for your brothers. And that means everybody. So I'm trying my best to love everybody despite certain um, feelings, underlying feelings that I may have towards the things that they're doing. Now, that being said, well, let's get into this subject. Little Nas X and Diddy and the gay agenda. What is really going on with all this? Why is it happening? I'm going to do my best right now to break it down. First of all, you have to understand that God is real and Satan is real. Then you have to understand that God ultimately has full control. Satan is nothing compared to God. People out there really need to understand this. Satan is powerless in the eyes of God. Satan does not have any chance to ever become the true God or defeat God. Satan is a peon. However, for whatever reason, I'm not going to speak for God, but for whatever reason, God allows Satan to exist. And, and I'm guessing it's pretty much because God is wonderful and gives people out there the free will to do whatever they want. Nobody is forced into anything. And God um, knows that Satan is ultimately going to weed out the good from the bad. You are going to be judged by your fruit. Every tree that does not bring forth good fruit is going to be cast into the lake of fire. It's going to be cut down and cast into the lake of fire. So that's what's coming for everybody who doesn't follow God. They're going to be tossed into the lake of fire because they are workers of iniquity and they are not doing right by God. So the gay agenda, how does this come into play and what exactly is happening? This is what's happening. There's a struggle, although again, let me remind you, it's not really a struggle because God allows it. But Satan is struggling to try to keep people away from God. That's Satan's number one agenda is to trick people away from God so they do not keep their souls. This agenda is being forced on people because it goes against the word of God. That's why in 2021 and even before this, this is being rationalized and justified and pushed onto the masses at a whole greater level than we've ever seen before in the history of the world. Nowadays, this has become normal to a lot of people out there, even though it goes against the word of God. So Satan is using something that God is against to try to trick people into going along so they are in jeopardy of losing their souls. That's what this is all about. This is all about souls. This is all about eternity. This has nothing to do with quote unquote pride. Again, everybody out there is free to do whatever they want. But why is this system so adamant about pushing this on children? Like one example, Nickelodeon. Recently, if you didn't see, Nickelodeon had came out with a video for Pride Month with a man dressed up like a woman singing to the kids about trans and queer pride. We're talking about toddlers and adolescent type children. These are not adults. These are kids. 
Why are these ideas of sexuality being planted in kids' heads? And I'm going to say something um, too about this whole sexuality, this hyper, hyper sexualized society that we live in. That's not okay either. Even if it's straight stuff, like I don't think little kids should be seeing half naked men or women dancing around and putting ideas in their head that otherwise would not be there. But the problem that I have with the whole gay agenda is this is clearly Satan attacking and trying to attack people with something that goes against the word of God and is unnatural. That's the bottom line. Like you can make whatever excuses you want for why this is happening, but I'm telling you exactly why this is happening because the devil knows his days are numbered and he wants to take you down with him the same way some of these celebrities probably know that they signed on to something that they shouldn't have and their days are numbered so they have no problem trying to drag you down with them stop like i said in the last video stop idolizing these celebrities these people are nothing good there's nothing positive about what they do they are literally dragging you and feeding you right into Satan's hand. That's what they're doing. Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing your children to see this and watch these people and think that these people are people that they should look up to or idolize or see as role models? It's not okay. Turn the TV off and step away from this stuff. This is all garbage. Social media is garbage. Everything out there that we're seeing right now that a lot of people think is weird or isn't right is all because of Satan. That's the truth. God is real. Satan is real. Satan wants to make sure he stops at nothing before he's actually cast into the lake of fire and destroyed. He wants to make sure he can take as many souls with him as possible. And sadly, so many people out there have fallen victim and will continue to fall victim. But I think that this message definitely needs to be heard. I want people to know as of probably the past year, I've been having some major um, revelations in my life about really the power of God and how real God really is. For a while now, I've known God existed, but I wasn't operating in a way where I was showing that I was trying to follow God. Now I'm trying to follow God. I'm actually doing things in life, and this isn't no self-righteous stuff, but I want people out there to know, in order to actually follow God, you have to bring forth good fruit. You have to be a tree that brings forth good fruit. You will be judged by your fruit. You have to bring forth the type of fruit that God wants. This is why I stopped doing the type of videos that I was doing because it wasn't doing anything positive for anybody else. I traded the money, which was a lot of money I was making off of YouTube and the views and all that type of stuff for God. None of that matters compared to God in my eyes. So I'm trying to do the right thing. I did some other things in my life too. I'm not going to really get into it on here, but I've made some big changes in my life. This is what people have to do. You have to give up your own desires and make God's desires your priority over yourself. In places in life, sometimes you're going to come across things that you don't want to give up or you don't want to stop doing. But in order to really follow God, this is what has to be done. So hopefully, you know, this message that I'm trying to push on people will resonate with at least one person. That's all that I could ever ask for is that one of my videos would just touch one person out there and get them to want to start trying to follow God because we are really living in the last days. There's not much longer and everything on this earth is not worth your eternity. This is temporary. Everything in this earth is temporary. We're only here for a short period of time. But it doesn't mean that this is the end. After this comes eternity. Nothing in this life 
is worth your eternity. And hopefully I can help somebody out there understand that Jesus Christ is real. God is real. Satan is real. And if you don't choose Jesus Christ, if you don't choose God, you choose Satan by default. And that's just the reality. This whole gay agenda that we're seeing, this is just Satan's um, failed attempt at trying to destroy mankind, trying to turn people away from the word of God. And that's just what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. And the system and all these people who you see are pushing this are all a part of it. And they all subscribe to Satan. They chose Satan over God. Don't be one of those people. Um, I just want people out there to know God forgives you for everything. God, if you really repent and you truly feel sorry in your heart for things that you've done, you ask God for forgiveness and God will forgive you. God can deliver you from anything that you're going through. So just know if you've made wrong mistakes or you've done things or you've been compromised by this whole gay agenda or anything like that, it doesn't mean that you're doomed. You have the ability to fix it. Jesus Christ died for all of our sins. All of us are sinners. None of us are perfect. Nobody was ever perfect in the history of the world other than Jesus Christ. And he gave his life to bridge the gap. So people who are sinners, all the rest of us, had an opportunity and a chance to go into heaven. And um, I hope you make the right choice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Make sure you ring the notification bell if you're subscribed so you get updates on my future videos when they drop, although you probably will not get them. Um, also, if you need help reading the Bible, which is something that I was struggling with myself, uh, click the link that I'm going to pin as the top comment, and it's going to help you in ways that you may have never imagined. It definitely did for me. I have no affiliation with the where I'm sending you other than it did a lot of good things in my life and hopefully it could do the same for you. I definitely appreciate you though. Peace.